news about the future of Fortnite, which includes an entire new Lego game. Plus, I'm gonna look at some crazy stuff that's going on in creative mode. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Okay, there's a ton of news to go over right now. Fortnite, the big bang, is happening December 2nd. So this is a huge live event that's gonna happen on Fortnite, and the leaks on this are insane. So first of all, the event's gonna include Eminem? That's actually insane. Eminem's like one of the biggest artists of like all time, so that's cool. The actual tagline for the event is, it's a whole new world out there, which is teasing some of the other big stuff that's coming, which I'm gonna talk about in just a second. The actual event itself is the biggest one to date and takes up an entire 1.5 gigabytes, making it its files the biggest ever. So it's not just gonna feature Eminem, but it's gonna feature Lego, Rhythm Mode, and Racing Mode. I don't know how that's gonna be included in an event, but let's talk about these modes for a second because I feel like this is what the big change and big thing is gonna be for chapter five. There's a whole bunch of leaks here about the Lego mode. And if this game mode is what I I'm about to explain, this could bring in millions and millions of new players that will play Lego mode, but also will play other creative maps that they're going to see. Huge opportunity here. The Lego game mode will have crafting resources. You can see here a list of all of the resources you'll be able to craft with. All of these crystals, all of these food items like corn, pepper, pumpkins, etc. I mean, all sorts of resources here you'll be able to craft with. But what will you be able to craft? Well, here's a bunch of things you'll be able to craft. Building foundation, consumables, corners, floors, gears, materials, all sorts of weapons like axes and crossbows, shovels, swords. Like this sounds like this is going to be insane. It sounds like it's going to be Minecraft. There's going to be Lego creatures as well. And these are some of the things that they'll drop. Arctic claws, blast powder, bones, poop. They're going to be shoveling poop in the new Lego game mode. <laughs> Lego poop. There's even going to be Lego character classes, which includes adventurer, dreamer, explorer, and homesteader. Love that you'll be able to choose classes. I wonder what the difference is in these. But I, I don't know. We'll find out. You'll be able to have your own pets in the Lego game mode. And look, there's some things you can interact with. You can pat, rub, left, rub, live, right? I mean, this is crazy. You can see here, it says worlds in Lego game mode are procedurally generated. That means that the world will build out and be completely unique every time you play a new game. Very similar to Minecraft. That's crazy. You'll be able to accept jobs from AIs. There will also be buffs, including bonus hells, cold resist, jump buff, heat resist, etc. Not only that, it supposedly will have some sort of a tier system from simple, bony, flexwood, iron, obsidian, titanium. So maybe you'll be able to upgrade your bases. I don't know. you will even have garden plots that you can plant to get all of the different food items. And check out this list of craftable items. I mean, this list is extensive. I mean, this is a very long list of things that you'll be able to craft. This is going to be Lego craft, basically. I'm curious, though, if you'll be able to do stuff in creative mode or if we'll have items from Lego in UEFN where we can make our own Lego maps. That would be amazing to have Lego maps where you can run around as a Lego person jumping and battling, etc. Now, it's not just the Lego mode that's coming out. There's also two other huge game modes. One is called the Fortnite Festival Rhythm Game. Essentially, this is going to be a rock band-esque rhythm game. And it's going to have music collabs with artists like Lady Gaga, Linkin Park, Toto, Imagine Dragons, Alice Cooper, and of course, the Fortnite music packs. I don't know how this is going to work. Like, you're going to have to have like a rock band guitar or the drums. Like, I haven't played that in at least a decade. But insane, we're even talking about that kind of thing. And then, of course, we've got the Rocket Racing Game Mode, which I'm not exactly sure what this is going to look like either, but it sounds like there's going to be multiple maps you can race on. There's different ways you can control your car and camera angles. Like, there's some very exciting stuff coming here. And in case if you're wondering this isn't real at all, look at this. Lego just tweeted this out. Look at this llama. He's so awesome looking. Like, this is so exciting to me. I'm going to play the heck out of this thing. Maybe we'll have all sorts of new build competitions if we can actually build in this area and like, uh, like Minecraft and build whatever we want. I don't know, guys. I feel like this is breathing some life back into the creative community that maybe feels alienated from UEFN. I don't know. We'll see. Now, in case you're worried, usually when there's this big, long downtime after live events the whole ecosystem shuts down like you can't play maps you can't build maps or anything like that check this out your experiences will remain available to play during the big bang event you'll also be able to keep building in uefn and creative tool sets so basically this downtime period is going to be huge for creative experiences probably going to have the most concurrent players you've ever seen on maps ever maybe i'll live stream then and we can all play some of these creative experiences together after the live event i don't know that sounds like it could be fun let me know in the comments if you think i should live stream it regardless this is going to be super exciting Exciting. I cannot wait for this. So let me show you some other cool stuff that I've been seeing lately. Okay, we're going to start with this glitch here. So I, I don't know if this is duplicatable or not. We're going to try and do it, but you grab a shopping cart and I don't know if you have to have movement modulators on your feet or not, but you blast some ice and then you get back out and it launches you. This guy goes just flying. This must be a UEFN map as well because he's just going forever. I'm going to try and duplicate
activate this in creative mode. I've got my movement modulator here. We're gonna run on that and get a little extra speed. We got our shopping cart. I need the big chill. Okay, we got everything I didn't need, I think. Okay, we're gonna push this around and then we're gonna hop in the cart and then I'm gonna blast this a few times and then hop back out and whoa! <laughs> Holy cow, that was insane. I mean, is that easily duplicatable? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, look at this. My guy still has ice on his feet. It's indefinite. It's like not falling off. Like I have ice forever. Okay, so this is how you get permanent ice on your feet and it will never come off until you leave the game. Wow, this glitch is way crazier than I thought it would be. Okay, this is insane by Typico Gamer. Not to be confused with Typical Gamer. But check this out. I made the cantina a few years ago in creative mode, but now this in UEFN is is absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, this is beautiful. Job of the Hut right there. All sorts of other, like, Star Wars characters. This is so cool. And it's not just the cantina. Let me show you this one as well. We've got this bridge coming down. We got Mos Eisley in the background or something. And uh, it looks so cool with the Mandalorian skin there. And then he gets on this transporter. And then he starts it and zoom, zooms off to another town somewhere else or another station. So cool. I thought this was really cool as well. Check this out. This is from your perspective inside a snow globe like this is so cool looking i love all the like characters here in the background like this is beautiful man the, the, the kind of things we can make in uefn now especially with the holidays coming out i'm really excited to see this video is insane and he only made it in like one hour it's from chase jackman i mean check out this beautiful background like i don't think that's actually in the game some of the stuff you're seeing in the background i think it's some sort of like a sky dome or sky barrier or something that is the background but the combination of what you're seeing in the background with the other like islands that your players actually running on is wild it just looks so cool to me and I, I can't believe we can even do stuff like this okay check this map out this is a recreation of san francisco in creative got the golden gate bridge back there but then when they turn around because it's not just aesthetic you can actually run around the city i mean look at how realistic everything looks on the ground to the buildings supposedly this map maker is going to make missions and things you can do in the city but i love that they just actually recreated san francisco here big shout out here to tom for making that Okay, this one is super cool. We've got like one of these little dog robots here that's shooting rockets out of its back. But it's following the character around the space, shooting rockets off and hitting this target off in the background. Like what's happening here? This is so cool. This blows my mind. Donning here has been making procedurally generated worlds in creative mode. Well, look at this. This is completely unique wherever he flies and is in the render distance of the map. You can see he's flying around, going in a circle and when he flies back to where he was before, it's a different terrain. It's all procedurally generated every time so that's unique whenever your player is running through the world. That is crazy to me. This is super cool. So if you've ever played a tower defense game before where you have your different towers on the right and then you have bad guys that are running through the map and your towers are trying to destroy them, you can see here they're placing down a new turret that's now firing at the creatures or zombies or whatever that are running through. This is the kind of stuff we're starting to see in creative mode and i'm so pumped for it guys the future of creative mode is so bright right now and i'm here for it use code mustard plays in the item shop